Greetings, Unsettled Souls. Welcome to The Correct Views. Sam DeGangie, welcoming you aboard. Um, I'm going to kind of zip through the intro here because I've noticed online there hasn't been a real concise, easy to understand explanation of what and why gain of function is. And if I don't go right into it, it's not going to happen now. So here we go. Um, gain of function. When you hear about it immediately, your mind goes to weaponizing a virus. And I'm firmly in the camp of Rand Paul. There are very few instances to which you would need to do gain of function research. And I'll get to that in a minute. Um, immediately, everyone's mind goes directly to the weaponization of a virus. Gain of function simply means that the virus has gained a function that it didn't have before. That may mean that it's more transmissible between humans. That may mean that various things in the virus are actually tweaked in ways that, at least in theory, are helpful to mankind. Now, give me a minute before, it's, before I get a bunch of hate mail with people saying that I'm coming out in favor of gain of function research. Let me talk. I already know. Trust me, I've seen people do it. Listen to the whole video. There are times when conducting gain of function research, in theory, can be beneficial. Let's say that we had a, a chance to eliminate a virus by figuring out how it's going to mutate. Now, I'm oversimplifying this, but it's the best way to explain it. So if every little detail isn't right, breathe. If you can figure out where a virus is going to mutate to, in theory, you can be able to predict what medicines and treatments, vaccines, could be useful against that virus because you've changed it. Maybe you've altered it in a way that it seems that the virus would, could be capable of doing. So if you're worried about something developing a certain way, you would maybe develop it that way so that you could study it with that change made in what is supposed to be a secure lab where this kind of work can be conducted. Now, is this also done for the weaponization of a virus? That has been illegal according to ethics standards in every major country for generations, I believe, a very long time. However, we know, we absolutely know that that's happened. And there's reason to believe that China may or may not have let the coronavirus loose on purpose. We don't know that. We're not going to go there on this video. It's very likely. But the gain of function question. When, you may ask, Sammy... Would you need to do such a thing? Let us pretend that the coronavirus was killing 7 in 10 people. And let us pretend that the virus had, beyond any shadow of a doubt, come into being naturally. It's gonna, let's pretend those, those two things are true. Gain-of-function research could be used to tweak the virus in a way where it could be studied and at least brought into a, a level where medications would be able to control it, or maybe we would be able to predict what sort of changes the virus was going to take as to whether or not it was going to kill 9 in 10 people, or if it was going to diminish. Well, sometimes you need to be able to study a virus to know if that's going to happen. But guess what? That certainly wasn't the case with coronavirus. The people who are coming out in favor of gain-of-function research, so this is why you're watching the video, they are doing so under the argument that if we are not able to study what can happen, 
or what is very likely going to happen with a virus, then we can't cure it or minimize it as quickly as we could if we had just done the gain of function research and figured out what we could be dealing with here. Well, there's two problems with that. And not everybody who thinks that way is evil. There's probably, uh, the, I would even say, uh, maybe the majority of the people who work in that environment, they are actually trying to help. But there are two problems here that cannot be overlooked. The first problem is human nature and the fact that the most evil among us quite often rise to levels of authority and they're able to pull strings in ways that can be very dangerous and that leads to gain of function research inevitably raising eyebrows and conjuring up interest among those who could benefit from that kind of biological warfare okay, but there's another problem let us say that the people conducting it, the research, let us surmise that they are, in fact, 110% honest. They're not making weapons. Okay, here's the problem with that. Many of you know I do the Mass of Fukushima update. If you don't, guess what? I do the Mass of Fukushima update. It's every month. And... I may be able to explain this in a way as we close out here and you hit share that will make sense here as to the second danger with this, even if they're honest. If you conduct certain nuclear tests, we all know what nuclear contamination is. Once the controlled environment to which you are doing it, you're working on, say, say the instance of Karen Silkwood, for instance, where she was working in a nuclear facility. It's a true story. There were breaches in safety and just acts of God, if you will, that allowed large amounts of nuclear poison to get out. Once nuclear poison is in the environment, there is no way to get it out. And worse still, once it is in you, there is no way to get it out. Like when they found, I think it was plutonium, don't quote me on that, in Karen Silkwood, she made the statement, <clears throat> I'm already dead. Radiolog radi radioactivity, once unleashed, and out of the confines of this lab, the lab can never be, the genie cannot be put back in the bottle. Virus studying is the same way. No, it's not nuclear. Once you let it out on purpose, or we said honest, so these we have our on we already said they were honest. We have our honest people, they make a mistake. Ventilation system, maybe they catch the virus themselves, maybe who knows? But a mistake happens. Just like nuclear. With gain of function research, or any virus research, even if you're not adding things to it, but we're gonna go with what the topic we have. <clears throat> gain of function research. Once you have added something to a virus and that virus gets out, you're done. You can't undo it. Then you may be stuck doing gain of function to figure out how to fix it. And that could repeat the whole cycle over again. I've oversimplified it, but I got it done in 10 minutes as promised. Leave me a comment. How'd I do? I think I did all right.